Our, our greetings humans and welcome once again to this of the woods it's me again doing a random video for youtube in spite of having uh two 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 already started a uh, series which i have left alone for a long long time one of which i actually plan on restarting from scratch yes um anyways <laughs> Typical me, typical me. I am very much like that. Anyways, um, some of you that may have been following me on Twitch and may have seen some stuff that I've been doing recently. I recently played a game uh, called Sunless Seas. I got Sunless Seas um, for I got Sunless seam, Seas seams seams Sunless Seams. Okay, I got Sunless Seas uh, on Epic, and I actually recorded that game first for YouTube, but I had very mixed feelings about it, because uh, basically, I'm going to get a little bit closer to the camera, I do not know why I'm so far away, basically I had a, um, I had a, a bit of mixed feelings about it. Because it just did a thing where it just threw a whole lot of stuff at me at the same time. And it was just so much that I could not comprehend. Plus the universe where Sunless uh, Seas takes place, which I will talk about in a bit, is so complex that I, I got lost very fast. So I didn't enjoy my first, uh, the first time I played the game. Like, it gave me very mixed feelings, because on the one hand, I found the world where it was taking place, which I had just learned about at that moment, and I knew so little about, of course. Uh, I, I was fascinated by it. Problem is, it threw so much stuff at me at, at once, that I... I basically did not like the game, because I got overwhelmed the first time I played now recently for some reason um i was i was alone at that moment like uh no one was going to be able to join me for i don't know if it was like the full two hours of the stream or just for an hour i think i think it was two hours but i'm not sure uh regardless uh, i digress uh the whole thing was i decided to give the game a second chance uh, mainly one of the reasons why I decided to give the, a, a to, I decided to give the game a second chance was because I recently saw uh, the Stupendium's song on the Mask of the Rose. For those that may not know, I'm pretty sure if you guys are seeing this, you probably know who the Stupendium is because uh, they are a pretty big thing, at least in nerdcore. Maybe you don't know who they are if you don't like uh, nerdcore music and such. It's basically rap music uh, based on nerdy um, stuff from the nerd world or like nerd nerd stuff in general, usually video games. Uh, so if you're not into that sort of stuff, you might not know who they are. Uh, but they are pretty big in that community. And I actually found out about them quite a long time ago. And I've been listening to their music since. And they've got great songs. And they recently released one, which is probably one of the biggest projects that they've done. Uh, which was a musical called um, Neath. Uh, which was basically, uh, I think it had actually, yeah, it had been sponsored by Fail Better Games. Uh, who is releasing... I don't think the mic picked up that up uh, but a, ra a door on the other side of my house closed randomly i am alone right now anyways uh distractions from ghostly doors closing aside um i lost my train of thought it's the stipendium okay uh phil better games is releasing a new game called the mask of the rose uh, which is a visual novel uh, with a little bit of romance. I'm just giving from what I know. I have no idea about the game other than what I've heard in uh, in the Stupendium song. Um, 
And it's based on the same world where Sunless Seas takes place, which is the fail better universe of Fallen London. Uh, and this kind of got me on track again of that world. And it's like, oh, true, I found that world fascinating. Maybe I can give the game a second try. So I did. I gave the game a second try. I played again. And I enjoyed this experience so much more. Because even though they had thrown a lot of shit the first time I played, which I think is maybe not such a good idea to do in a game, but also I have I don't really know how you could make a game like that um, without like that whole thing of throwing a bunch of shit at uh, the new players. I kind of guess that you kind of have to take that risk in a way. Uh, so... When they threw the shit at me again, I kind of knew most of it, or at least the basics of it. So it wasn't as overwhelming, and I was able to uh, appreciate the universe a lot more. And that made my the cogs in my head to start working. Like, the song from the Stupendium already gave a little bit of an insight to the universe where it took place. And being able to play the... Um, uh, to play Sunless Seas again and actually appreciate what was going on a little bit more, kind of started piquing my curiosity further and further. I am very curious. By nature, I do. I am a very curious person. I like when there's something that fascinates me, I like looking into it. And this world started to fascinate me more and more. So I did want to have a look at it. So I did a minor bit of research. Uh, into what this whole thing was. And this is basically the uh, when I stumbled upon Fallen London. So, Fail Better Games, uh, which is the company that made this game, originally made a game, uh, which is a visual novel, I believe. Uh, it's a web browser visual novel, so it's easily available. Uh, you don't have to download anything, as far as I'm concerned. Uh, called Fallen London. And what I have gathered from both the little research that I've done, I have admittedly done very little research. Uh, from what I've gathered from this little research, is uh, and what I've seen from Sunless uh, Seas and a little bit in the Stupendium song, which the Stupendium does hint out a little bit of uh, stuff that happens in the in the universe, but doesn't obviously tell you the story directly. Uh, from what I've gathered, basically it's uh, set in the Victorian era, uh, London in particular, of course, London during the Victoria era, and apparently all of a sudden, kind of. London fell underground, like a hole opened out of nowhere, swallowed the entire city, and gone. London just, just vanished suddenly. It it just it was just gone, under the surface of the earth, gone forever. The whole thing is that in this universe, or the roles that you take in this universe, this is a little bit crooked. I just realized. I think it's the shape of my nose. <laughs> Anyways, uh, in this universe, you are going to be playing as someone who was in London at the moment that London fell. Thus calling it Fallen London, like you are below ground. And there's a bunch of really weird shit going on in Fallen London. Again, I have very little knowledge, so I might be wrong. I might not have interpreted this correctly. But from what I've gathered, basically, this place where London has fallen is not really, really 100% what you would call underground. It is an odd place, which is underground. I know that contradictory with what I just said. But it's not underground in the sense that we understand. It's not a cave that's just below the surface. Which, again, it could technically be. But the thing is, it's kind of related with hell, in a way. I know there's demons, or demon-like creatures. And there's a bunch of weird shit going on. 
AKA rats speak and have the intelligence of a human. Uh, there are clay men, which I literally know absolutely nothing about, other than they might live in an island that screams, literally. <laughs> which I am very confused about. Like, I read that last time I played Zelda Seas, and I was like, when you say that the island is screaming, do you actually mean the island, that the piece of land is screaming? I'm willing to believe that might be the case. Uh, I am very confused as to what that is. And I'm very curious at the same time. And immortality is quite achievable. You might actually achieve it accidentally, to say it somehow. But it's not the type of immortality you might be guessing. So, they, uh, the stipendium actually hinted this out very well in their song. There was a, a like, the character they play as at the beginning, which is like a reporter. Uh, at the end of the song says, I've been dead for a week. I feel fine now. What do you mean you've been dead for a week? Yeah, so that happens in Sunless Seas. I've been able to see that firsthand. Like, there's fucking dead people walking down the streets. They are dead. They they died. They they dead it dead. They unalived. They're not alive anymore. But they're still walking they're still speaking they're still doing stuff and that's what is like so confusing to me right now it's such an odd concept i believe it's what they call i have again no idea about this i think it's what they call the tomb colonists so they're basically people who are dead and that they eventually move out to a colony of people who are old dead they're all essentially dead and it sounds also like a horrifying concept because from what i've gathered they kind of wrap themselves in van in bandages to kind of keep themselves mummified in a way as to not to decompose so i am guessing that while you are dead but still technically alive you are decomposing so it's I don't know if that sort of immortality appeals to me. So, I have been rambling about this for uh, at least 12 minutes according to that timer down there. Um, I am going to go straight to the point uh, what this video is for. This is going to be a little introductory video to a new series I'm going to do. I am going to do a little new thing because I tend to ramble when I start over, uh, something new. And I didn't want to speak over the game or have a very long first episode of like literally the half of the episode being me just rambling about the game. I have been doing that in the last games that I uploaded to YouTube like Darkwood and uh, Iron Lung. I think I did something similar on that one again as well. So the video was a little bit longer than I would have liked it to be. Because I spent a quite big amount of time at the beginning rambling about the game. So I have decided to pull this initial ramble out of the game. I don't know why I said out in that high pitch. But you can expect weird voice things uh, coming from me. Because I apparently like doing that a lot. Uh, I have realized because I always say bye in a high pitch when I am, play I am streaming on, on uh, Twitch and I think I do the same on YouTube. I don't remember. I haven't done YouTube in a while because I'm dumb. Anyways, uh, so I have decided why the hell not? I am going to give it a shot. I am going to delve into the Fallen London universe. I Before I decide to do this, I checked on YouTube to see uh, what I could find about Fallen London, like a gameplay, just to have a, an idea of what Fallen London could be. And I actually found a... Um, I found a video by... I am gonna butcher your name. I am so sorry. Anorin? I think it would be pronounced Anorin. I've been following this person for a while on Twitch. And I I think I still butchered the name. Uh, so it was very funny because I did not find videos very easily. And the one time that I found a video, it was of a person that I actually follow on Twitch. So it was like, okay, 
I think this is perfect. So I had a look at it, and it was a DLC that came out after the game. A DLC, in a way, because technically it's not a DLC, considering that you don't have to download the game or anything. Um, but it's like an, an extra story that they added later on. So at least I know that that way I haven't spoiled anything for me, uh, which I appreciate. And I got to see what the game was about. So I just saw like one episode. Uh, since I've mentioned their video, I will uh, post the link in the description below. So you can ho go... Ho. Ho ho, fiddle dee. Time of price alive for me. Why did I say ho suddenly like ho ho ho? Okay. <laughs> you can go. Have a look at it. Uh, if you want to see what I was seeing. Uh, I've got my bottle of water here in case you're seeing that I'm reaching out. So I'm going to explain what this is. Uh, it's a visual novel. Uh, I'm going to be doing a lot of reading. So that's also good for me to practice my reading aloud skills. Because uh, I don't usually read aloud that much. I, and I think that the few times that I've read aloud on Twitch and or YouTube, I have realized that I think I've been improving. So... Why not play a whole game, which is literally going to be that? So it's just going to be you hearing me speaking. I've got my water because I'm going to be speaking a lot. Uh, so I have decided to delve into Fallen London Universe. I have no idea what to expect. I have uh, no clue. Uh, so in the next video, uh, which I'm going to record literally right after this rambling, uh, but I am going to upload, of course, in a different uh, video, so that you don't have to go through the rambling thing. Um, if you don't want to. Um, which you wouldn't be listening to me saying this and reaching this conclusion, but anyways. <laughs> uh, I'm going to create my account on the Fallen London game, and I'm going to go into it. I have no idea what level of, of customization I can do because it's technically, since it is a visual novel, it's got a little bit of a role-playing aspect to it. So we are going to be role-playing a little bit. I really like role-playing, in case you could not guess. I really like role-playing. No, wrong, wrong side. I am a furry. I like role playing as my fursona. So, yeah. I also play D&D, &D, which you also have to role play. I like role playing in general. I fucking role play while playing Skyrim for God's sake. So, yeah. Um we are I am going to see how much level of role play I can do there and how much level of customization there can be because consider that there are some weird creatures running around. Maybe there's a way of putting my fursona in that in a way so if i can i will try otherwise i'll try to just like get into the whole universe because in case you didn't know this this little guy over here this this guy he's half demon so technically fit in the whole demon thingy going on the fallen universe i guess maybe i don't know maybe it doesn't fit at all we will see so victorian era london uh has fallen underground and uh there are demons and shit around so, we are going to go into the game in a separate video that I know that sounds kind of odd, but as I said, I don't want to go on for a half a video speaking about what my opinion is on the game before I even play the game. Um, so yeah, we're going to end this video right here, and I'm going to start recording the next one. Uh, it's going to be weird to do an outro since I'm going to be filming right now. But anyways, uh, if you like this video, it has nothing to do with what you're going to be probably seeing in this channel, because this is just an initial ramble about what I am going to do, because I'm weird like that, and I like rambling about shit. Uh, but anyways, if you enjoyed this, uh, please consider leaving a like, subscribing, uh, leave down comments below uh, what you thought about this. Uh, if I'm wrong about some stuff, you could maybe say something, but please don't spoil anything considering that it is a visual novel there is a big story element to it so please don't spoil anything and um what was i gonna say apart from that uh oh yeah let me know what you thought about this idea of doing the initial ramble in a separate video because maybe people want to skip it and they just want to go straight into the game so that's why i decided to do this so that said thanks for watching uh, if you want to catch me live and want to talk to me there you can find the link in the description below 
You can also follow me on Twitter, which is the social media I use, to be honest. I've also got Instagram, but I don't use it, so I won't be linking anything down there because there's no point to it. Um, I'll be leaving my Twitter down there in case you want to keep up to date with uh, when I go live, because I usually uh, post when I go live there and occasionally tweet some stuff. Um, so, yeah. That said, thank you once again for watching that, uh, this video, and uh, I will see you again next time. Bye!